It's been a growing concern for football players and fans. Is the sport safe? Well, one doctor at UNC, he's front and center as the debate continues. And after six years of research, he's learning that football can have a powerful effect decades after calling it a career. Six. Mob in trouble. Get trouble. Oh, big hit. This is what it looks like on Sunday. And this is what it looks like inside your head. Every time it hits there, yeah, it rebounds off the backside. A football concussion is a violent event that leaves stadiums silent. And according to one Chapel Hill man, it's even more dangerous than we think. Football is a collision sport. The collisions have long-term effects. Kevin Guskowitz founded this one-of-a-kind center for the study of retired athletes on UNC campus. NFL greats from all over the country come here. Maybe because of worried wives. They're concerned. They're the ones who oftentimes are pushing their husbands here to the center. Maybe because after studying thousands of former football stars, Dr. Guskowitz discovered something shocking. So what struck us was that uh, a quarter of them sustained three or more concussions during their pro career. They are five times more likely to be diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment, which is a precursor to Alzheimer's disease. Football causing Alzheimer's. It was enough to lead Ken Huff to the doctor's door. With the studies you see now, the effects of uh, long-term effects of that kind of trauma, it uh, has been a concern of mine. Huff was a star at UNC and played 11 years in the NFL. He was part of the famed Washington Redskins offensive line known as the Hogs. I was the piglet of the Hogs. Huff endured his share of hard knocks. Did you have a lot of concussions? Well, yes. I know of uh, three instances where I was knocked out. There were at least a half dozen others that I'd come to the sideline and they'd snap an ammonia capsule, wave it in front of your nose, and uh, pronounce you good to go, and you're right back in there. He told me one story about a run-in with Hall of Famer and North Carolina A&T grad Elvin Bethea, who came at Huff with a notorious forearm. He used to wear, pad up his forearms with uh, hard cardboard, so basically it was a cast. And I saw him cock that thing, and that's the last thing I remembered. I went down like a sack of potatoes. I get up, I get in the huddle, I line up backwards. Didn't have a clue where I was, what I was doing. So far, Huff has shown no signs of dementia, but it's a different story for some of his old teammates. They'll look off in the distance when, as they're talking to you. Sometimes they'll, they'll kind of wander. And that's a little scary. Ken's not taking any chances. He entered Dr. Guskowitz's trial study, which also includes a possible preventative treatment. We have a study right now that we're looking at retired NFL players and the effect of omega-3 fatty acid. And might that be uh, the answer to slowing down uh, the, the, the cognitive decline? Huff still doesn't know if he's taking the real drug or a placebo. What he does know, he doesn't have a single regret. Hopefully there will be no long-term uh, effects of that, but I wouldn't change it. Nine out of every ten retired NFL player that walks through our door will, will, will tell me when I ask them, I would do it all over again. doesn't matter if they walk in uh, with a cane <laughs> at age 55. It doesn't matter if uh, uh, they're having problems Remember what they had for breakfast. Uh, they will, uh, they would have done it again. You heard Ken Huff say that he wouldn't change a thing. Well, that doesn't mean he's completely thrilled with the NFL. He says he likens the league to the tobacco industry, saying he thinks they've known for a long time about the long-term dangers of the sport and haven't done enough to help those who are suffering. Remember, join in on the conversation and watch all our stories in the power of football on NBC17.com.